Okay, the next plugin that I'm going to showcase is one that you might find helpful when creating your final project and the assessment piece. I had done some searching and found this plugin called Quizmaster, and then when I did further searching, the same author has a new one out or a newer one called Quizmaster Next. I'm not sure what the differences are, but I went ahead and installed Quizmaster next and it seems to work fine. It adds this little piece over here on my left hand toolbar. If I click on that, what this is showing me is my dashboard. It shows me how many times people have taken quizzes, etc. Um, obviously I've been playing around with it so that's why I've got some statistics. To get going I'm going to click on quizzes and um, I'm not going to take you through all of the process but of course um, you would simply create the quiz and then once you've done that you're going to click on edit and you're going to uh, add questions. Now I'm going to just show you very quickly what a question might look like. Um, and you can have multiple answers here. Um, I'm going to say uh, an answer is zero. I'm going to add three or four little answers that way uh, you can get a sense of how a person can do a multiple choice and then you select the one that is the correct answer right now you can add some other content information here you could have chosen to do drop downs open answer text multiple response there's a variety of different types of questions that you can make uh, and of course uh, a lot of it would depend on on how you want it laid out and what you want the user to to do. I'm going to go ahead and click on create that question. Now uh, you do have to watch your question order. Um, so basically at this point I've got a, a couple of quizzes made. I've, I've got some questions going. Now just like we did back in table press in order to insert a uh, piece like this into our WordPress I need to grab the short code and that needs to be plugged in to a new page on the uh, text side, not the visual side. So I'm going to copy that and note that I'm getting the brackets on each side of it. I'm going to come over here to pages. Now I have been already playing with a page. I'm going to go ahead and edit that. Now note that here I can see the um, the original one that I did, I'm going to just delete that for the sake of showing you one more time. I'm going to go ahead and paste it, and this is pointing to that plugin module. It's the short code, it must be typed in or pasted in under the text area, um, but it must be in a blank page. I'm going to go ahead and update it. And of course, I don't actually see the results on this page. I can't see the results of what's happening here until I actually go out and view the page. So once I go ahead and click on view page here, I've got some other stuff as well as I've got my little question here. So if I answer the question and submit the quiz, there it goes. Now, um, in, in taking a look at this, <clears throat> you can immediately see that that quiz had a whole bunch of things in there that I probably wouldn't want. Um, these are things that you need to set per quiz. I'm going to go back to the quiz dashboard here. I'm going to go back to the quizzes and this is the uh, quiz that I'm, I'm working on right now. I'm going to click on edit and now these are um, pieces that you do need to um, set for each and every single quiz, right? In addition to all of your um, questions. First of all, if you wanted um, to add extra text in terms of um, having a message come back saying this is your you know dear so-and-so you've registered a quiz or whatever these are user variables that if you wanted to take and pop these into standard messages you can I found that um, just getting rid of them or you could also say um, something on the end of the quiz for example you know dear so-and-so you have created uh, or you've taken the quiz on this date and then you insert the current date and um, that would be really handle, handy if the student had to print out some sort of um, information related to um, 
proving that they've taken the test. So I've gone ahead and saved that. What I want to show you more importantly is the quiz option here. Um, I, I've got a couple different questions or things that you can play with. You can do uh, random types of things. Um, here at the uh, piece, would you like to ask for contact information beginning or end? If the user's logged in, what do you do? Should we ask for the user's name? Um, you can determine whether that's a yes, no, or require. Where it says you ask for a user's business, I'm going to say no because that's really not something I would ask of a regular student. Should I ask for the student's user email? Maybe. Should I ask for the phone number? Probably not, right? Uh, would you like a place for the user to enter comments? No. Um, should they get an email upon completion? This only, of course, works if, in fact, you're collecting the email address. Um, should I send an email to the administrator when it's done, showing the question? There's a couple different options there that you might want to play with. I'm going to go ahead and click on Save Options there. And then, um, again, in order to go ahead and take a look at it, I'm going to go back to my pages, go into the page and view it very quickly, keeping in mind that um, the only thing you will get here is um, the data that you put into these quizzes. So if I put in here and I'm going to say two and submit the quiz. Now this is picking it up because I'm logged in. But basically I answer the question, submit the quiz, and I'm done. Now I haven't truthfully even figured out how to get rid of this little phrase, enter your text here. I believe it's back on one of those um, tools um, in the uh, <clears throat> templates. So you can certainly play around with that. There are other quiz type activity um, plugins out there. Some of them you have to pay for. This one um, is free and I thought it was a pretty decent deal. Play around with it, see what you think, and see if you can use it as part of your assessments.